Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to the world should know the truth. Cambodians are trying very hard to steal Thai culture. Guys, this is a big and great allegation, but guys, let's see how true this is. The people of the world should know the truth. That the Cambodians are trying very hard to claim Thai culture. Hello, see you again with Wayum Comment Global. For this clip, I intend to make it. In order to let the world know that. Nowadays, Cambodians are trying very hard. To claim Thai culture as their own whether it's Thai costumes, Thai boxing, Thai food, Thai folk dramas. Everything that Thai people try hard, create and development from our ancestors. Until it is known to the whole world, but the Cambodians claim to own it, claiming to be original, and accuse Thai people of being thieves, that stole Cambodian culture. I want you guys to look at some facts, so that you guys can understand the preliminary information first. Please watch this video. Why the guests of the city with the most levels of importance? Cambodians still wear only sampot clothes. Come out to welcome the guests of the city town every time. Why is there not a single Cambodian? Wear Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. Come out welcome the guests of the city. In spite of always claiming that. Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. That Cambodians wear nowadays is their national. Which is different from Thai people. Dressed in Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. Came out to welcome the guests of the city all a long time. Because the Thai dress, wrapped in sabai, is the national costume of Thailand. That has been with Thai people for hundreds of years. Once you've seen the facts you try to ask yourself that. If it is your country. You will welcome the guests of the city. With the national costume of your country or will you use the national costume of another country. Come to welcome you're the guests of the city. Now you guys probably understand. That national costume of Thai people with the national costume of Cambodians completely different. And here is another example. That Cambodians try to claim Thai culture as their own culture. Most shamelessly. A short video clip of 2 to 3 minutes, please watch. This clip, Cambodians named the clip as is a Khmer, Cambodian, 
woman in Longvek, which corresponds to the Ayutthaya period of Thailand. The dress of the Cambodian people in the Longvek period. It's a picture on the left side. The dress of Thai people in the Ayutthaya period. It's the picture on the right hand side. Thai people to wear Thai dress, wrapped in sabai. The dress of the girl in this video clip. Dressed in Thai dress, wrapped in sabai in Ayutthaya style. Hairstyle that of Thai women in the Ayutthaya period. The overall atmosphere is a Thai atmosphere. The music used is Thai music. Name of the song, Lao Dam Nong Kwayan. But Thai people like to call it a song. Lao Duang Dun. Author is Princess Maha Chakri Sirindhorn Krom Myun Phai Chai Hintharadam. Son of King Chulalongkorn, the king of Thailand, Rama V. He composed this song. When he traveled in the northeastern region with a wagon. And thought of the woman who was his first love. Is Princess Chamchuan, at Chiang Mai. So he composed this song while riding a cart to his destination. We want the whole world to know that. Cambodians began to wear a Thai dress, wrapped in sabai very well. After watching the Thai drama Bufa Fanawat, very famous a few years ago. After that, claiming Thai clothes, claiming Thai culture. Belonging to one's own nation began to occur immediately, and accused Thailand of being a thief who stole Cambodian culture. Nowadays, false information. Bringing images of ancient Thai women, then claimed to be a Cambodian woman. Image retouching, fake news. That Cambodians try to create in the world of internet. Happens a lot. And the days are endlessly heavier. We Thai people need to clarify. Let the people of the world know the truth that is happening. You don't have to believe us. But think logically. Use factual evidence as a judge. Then you guys will get the answer yourself. Thank you for watching this clip. If friends like this clip. Please press like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell. In order not to miss a good story in the next clip. For this clip, I have to leave first. See you again in the next clip. Say what decrup. Guys, to be honest, this is very break ropey. Like, this is very obvious that this isn't Cambodia's cold joke. Based on this video though, because I feel there's always two sides to the story and you can't just judge based on what you say. But like, based on what I've said, and that, that's some eh, for everything that is very obvious that, nah, something's off here, especially the music, like the music was, it's obvious that, I feel they like the style, they're trying to incorporate it in their own culture, but I feel it's best to give the accolades to cool. It didn't fit like it's not yours and you are using someone else like me using someone else content like you have to show respect to the person like this is really really like it's not supposed to happen they say like to be honest culture i think culture is a way of life and you trying to steal someone else's culture means you're actually devaluing your own or feeling like your culture is not good enough i think you are supposed to do with what you have and not go after what other people are doing like be happy with what you have like this is your culture this is what your ancestors have done so why are you just trying to take another person's culture like it doesn't make sense to me like really it does not make sense but i can't wait to talk about this there's a like share subscribe to my channel we'll see more amazing videos that leave your recommendation in my comment section guys i'll see you next time guys Great.